Drill money, music TV. Drill money, music TV. What's up, y'all? I want to do a story on Wayne Perry, aka Silk. Now, this guy right here is from Washington, D.C. He was one of the vicious, dangerous killer you can run across. There's a lot of killers everywhere, a lot of killers in every city and every state. But this was a different kind of killer for a black man. This guy right here, Wayne, will shoot you just for the fun of it. This guy, Wayne, right here, was very dangerous. If his friends didn't go through with a murder or a hit, or something that Wayne told him to do, Wayne will kill him or shoot him. Wayne will kill a female just because she won't go out with him. Or she dissed him. Or speaking on his name. Or he thinks she might snitch. Or you might snitch. He will kill you. Wayne was that dangerous back in the days, man. He was a low-profile gangster, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people didn't want to look out for him, but they knew who he was and what he was about. He wasn't a drug dealer. He was a hitman. He did things. He was introduced to Alpo. That's where he leveled up and his name leveled up and became a big timer in the streets and the hip hop game and the culture. He got out of jail. Alpo bonded him out. And when people found out Alpo had. Wayne on their side, people bagged off, and a lot of people came up dead. Wayne was said to have a guy to go to New York and walk on the court while Alpo shake his hand and shoot the guy in the face. Wayne was very dangerous. He was very vicious. He didn't play. He once told his friend to shoot a guy in the butt for no reason, and the guy didn't do it. Wayne took the gun and shot the guy. Wayne would kill a girl kill a guy and go to the funeral because the guy had a whole bunch of females and get all their numbers. Wayne would kill you for no reason if he feel like it and what he was about. He's doing life right now and this guy's supposed to be did the death penalty but you know what I'm saying? He did some stuff to help his parents out so they wouldn't get in trouble. But Alpo dimed him out and, you know what I'm saying, that's D.C. Alpo is New York, but, you know, he dimed out the D.C. people. You know what I'm saying? Wayne said, Wayne, it never came across Wayne head to never ever take out Alpo. Wayne had plenty of chance to take out Alpo, but he never, it never came across his mind because Alpo looked out for him. So Wayne never even thought about crossing Alpo. He even told Alpo one of his guys was trying to backstab him, Big Ed Geary, and Wayne them ended up killing him. Wayne was a dangerous dude in D.C. People were scared of him. They can get rid of him, but they never can catch him because he was always with somebody. He always had killers with him. And if you're with Wayne, you got to get down. You got to get busy or he'll kill you. Alpo once said he left a gun downstairs with no bullets in it. He let Wayne see him put the gun there and tested him in the room to see would he come up there and try to kill him. The gun was still there, the money was still there, and Wayne never tried to backstab Alpo. You know, Wayne would kill anybody and do anybody, but Wayne didn't tr cross Alpo because he felt like Alpo was the guy that was putting him on. Alpo was the man that was feeding him, showing him the ropes, because Wayne didn't know, know how to do nothing but kill. He was introduced by Lil Pop. You know, Lil Pop ended up getting murdered. I'm going to do a story on Lil Pop soon, too. Y'all stay tuned. Chill.